Let's get right into it. Number 10. Comparing yourself to everyone online. You're on your phone and you see someone's perfect vacation pics. You know, those beach shots with the golden sunset. Or maybe their amazing life with a fancy car and a flawless smile. And your brain starts whispering, why aren't I that good? Your brain's wired to compare for survival. Back in the day, our ancestors had to keep up with the tribe not to get left behind, like making sure they weren't the weakest link during a hunt. But now you're not competing to survive. You're just feeling like garbage over someone's curated highlight reel. This habit spikes stress hormones like cortisol, tanking your self-esteem and making you anxious. Studies show too much social comparison can cut your happiness by 20%, and it even messes with your focus because you're too busy feeling inferior. I spent an hour last night comparing my life to a random influencer's, someone I don't even know, and my brain felt like a deflated balloon like I'd failed at life before even trying. This habit's quietly wrecking your brain's confidence, and it's gotta stop. Number 9. Holding grudges like a trophy. You're replaying that argument from last week in your head, holding on to a grudge like it's a shiny trophy you're proud to display. Maybe your coworker took credit for your idea, or your friend said something shady and now you're stewing over it. Your brain thinks grudges protect you. Back in the day, remembering who wronged you helped our ancestors avoid danger. Like knowing who might steal their food or betray the tribe. But now it keeps your brain in a loop of negativity, releasing stress hormones that cloud your thinking and make you moody. Research says grudges can increase anxiety by 15% over time, and they even mess with your focus because your brain's too busy plotting revenge to handle anything else. I held a grudge against a friend for weeks after they canceled plans at the last minute, and my brain was so foggy I couldn't even enjoy a movie night. I kept thinking about what I'd say next time I saw them. My brain was a drama queen, turning a small thing into a full-on soap opera. This habit's quietly poisoning your brain's peace, and it's time to let it go. Number 8. Saying yes to everything. You're saying yes to every favor, invite, or task that comes your way, thinking, I can handle it, I'm a rock star. Maybe your boss asks you to take on an extra project, your friend wants you to help them move, and your cousin needs a last-minute babysitter. All in the same week, your brain's not a superhero, it gets overwhelmed fast. Back then, agreeing to help the tribe meant survival, like pitching in to hunt or build a shelter to stay safe. But now, overcommitting just fries your brain's circuits, spiking your stress levels, cutting your focus, and leaving you completely burned out. Studies show people who overcommit are 30% more likely to feel mentally drained. And it can even mess with your memory because your brain's too stretched to keep up. I said yes to three events in one day last month. A work meeting, a birthday party, and helping a friend paint their room. And my brain was like, we're done. I was so frazzled, I forgot where I parked my car. This habit quietly overloads your brain's capacity, and you need to start saying no sometimes. Number 7. Skipping breaks during the day. You're powering through your day without taking breaks, thinking, I'll rest later. I've got this. Maybe you're at work, plowing through emails or studying for hours without stopping, telling yourself you're being super productive. But your brain needs those pauses to recharge. Back in the day, our ancestors took breaks while hunting or gathering, giving their minds a moment to reset and stay sharp. Skipping breaks now overworks your brain, cutting your focus, tanking your creativity, and making you feel like a zombie by the end of the day. Research says working without breaks can drop your productivity by 25%, and it even spikes stress hormones because your brain's running on fumes. I skipped breaks all day last week because I had a deadline, and by the afternoon, my brain felt like a dead battery. I couldn't even read a simple email without zoning out, and I made silly mistakes. This habit quietly exhausts your brain's energy, so give yourself a breather. Number six, keeping your phone by your bed. When you're sleeping with your phone right by your bed, maybe under your pillow thinking, I'll just check it real quick if I need to. Some of you might even use it as your alarm, so it's right there tempting you. Your brain's supposed to relax at night, but that phone's blue light keeps it wired. Back in the day, our ancestors didn't have glowing screens messing with their sleep. They just had the stars and darkness. That light suppresses melatonin, the sleep hormone, making it harder to fall asleep and cutting your deep sleep cycles, which are crucial for memory and emotional balance. Studies show that sleeping near your phone can reduce your sleep quality by 20% and even make you more anxious because you're half expecting a notification to wake you up. I kept my phone by my bed for a month and my brain was so restless I woke up feeling like I hadn't slept at all. I was groggy and snapping at everyone all day. 
This habit's quietly robbing your brain of the rest it needs to function. Number five, negative self-talk on repeat. You're constantly telling yourself, I'm not good enough, like it's a broken record stuck on repeat in your head. Maybe you messed up a presentation, didn't hit the gym as planned, and now you're calling yourself a failure. Your brain can't tell the difference between emotional and physical pain. Back in the day, pain signals kept us safe, like avoiding a dangerous spot after getting hurt. But now, negative self-talk hurts, lighting up the same brain areas as if you'd stubbed your toe, spiking stress hormones, and tanking your focus. Studies show negative self-talk can cut your problem-solving skills by 15%, making you more anxious because your brain thinks it's under attack. I kept beating myself up over a tiny mistake at work last week, like forgetting to send one email, and my brain felt punched. I couldn't concentrate all day and felt worse about myself by the hour. This habit's quietly bruising your brain's confidence, and you've got to start being kinder to yourself. Number four, procrastinating on small tasks. You're putting off small tasks, like replying to an email or doing the dishes, thinking, I'll do it later. It's no big deal. Your brain's avoiding stress because back in the day, delaying non-urgent stuff saved energy for survival, like focusing on hunting instead of organizing the cave. But now, procrastination piles up mental clutter, making your brain anxious and unfocused as those tasks stack up in the back of your mind. Research says procrastinators have 20% higher stress levels because their brains keep worrying about unfinished stuff, and it even messes with your sleep because you're stressing about what you didn't do. I procrastinated on a simple chore last week, taking out the trash, and my brain wouldn't shut up. I felt stressed all day, and I even forgot an essential deadline because I was so distracted. This habit's quietly cluttering your brain's peace, so tackle those small tasks pronto. Number three, eating too much sugar. You're grabbing sugary snacks like candy or soda whenever you're hungry, thinking it's a quick energy fix to get you through the day. Your brain loves sugar because back in the day, it was rare. Our ancestors would find a few berries and get a burst of energy to keep hunting. But now you're overeating it, and it's not the same. Too much sugar spikes your blood sugar fast, then crashes it just as quickly, messing with your focus, making you moody, and even giving you headaches. Studies show high sugar intake can cause brain inflammation, cutting memory function by 15% over time, and it can even make you feel more anxious because your brain's on a constant roller coaster. I ate a ton of candy last weekend, probably a whole bag of gummies, and my brain felt like it was on a sugar high one minute, then totally crashed the next. I couldn't think straight for hours. This habit is quietly fogging your brain's clarity, and you need to cut back. Number two, staying indoors all day. You're staying indoors all day, maybe working from home, gaming, or just chilling on the couch, barely stepping outside for fresh air. Your brain needs nature to reset. Back in the day, our ancestors lived outdoors, hunting and gathering, and the fresh air, sunlight, and greenery kept their minds sharp and stress-free. Staying inside all day cuts your brain's oxygen flow, making you sluggish, moody, and even foggy. Research shows just 20 minutes outside can boost your focus by 20%, and being in nature lowers stress hormones like cortisol. I stayed inside all day last week, didn't even open a window, and my brain felt suffocating. I couldn't come up with a good idea, and I got snappy over nothing. My brain was begging for a breath of fresh air, but I ignored it. This habit's quietly starving your brain of the freshness it needs to thrive. Number one. Ignoring your emotions. You're feeling sad, angry, or overwhelmed, but instead of dealing with those emotions, you shove them down thinking, I'll be fine, I don't have time for this. Your brain's not a storage box. It can't handle being stuffed with unprocessed feelings. Back then, our ancestors had to focus on survival, pushing emotions aside to deal with immediate threats like a predator. But now, Ignoring your feelings builds up pressure in your brain, spiking stress hormones like cortisol and making you more anxious and irritable over time. Studies show bottling up emotions can cut your emotional regulation by 25%, making it harder to handle life's challenges. And it even messes with your memory because your brain's too busy suppressing feelings to focus. I ignored my frustration over a work issue last month, kept telling myself to get over it, and my brain turned into a pressure cooker. I snapped at a friend over nothing and couldn't concentrate for days. This habit's quietly overloading your brain's emotional balance. So take a moment to feel what you're feeling. Subscribe to see them.